Hey guys, I'm back here, and uh, this episode I am going to show you how to make a really sweet uh, level selection uh, menu, and this is going to branch off the main menu here. Um, so let's make this short and sweet. It's not too too terribly complicated. Uh, so first things first is we are going to create a new user interface and we're going to call it Level Selection. How obvious, right? Um, now we're also going to create another folder and I, we're going to call this uh, uh, Assets. Okay. Now inside Assets here, you want to get, once you're done building your levels, take some screenshots of them, some really nice renderings, save them. I don't have any fancy levels made, so I just went on Google and I ripped a few pictures and just named them uh, so I can know what the pictures look like. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to import these pictures or your level uh, render screenshots and we are going to bring them into the engine. So we're going to bring those in here. Now these are high, high, high resolution images, so they're probably not there we go there we go um probably going to take a minute here to to uh upload there we go all right so now i'm going to close this and bring that back up oh apparently i got two of the same pictures here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this one and i'm just going to work with three now you can have as many as you want and i will show you the principle to setting up how to select which level to load. Uh, so now what I'm going to do also is in the content, I'm going to add another folder and we need to name this maps. Reason being, if you're having networking functionality, you need a direct maps directory uh, for your server side to be able to load from. It has to be simple, I guess. So uh, maps is the best folder to start with. So now I got this one. Um, I'm going to bring my main menu map into here too. Uh, right here, third person example map. I'm going to take this and move here. Save quick. And I'm going to go back to maps. Now in my assets, I have downtown, I have islands, and I have lake. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make these levels here. And. Uh, you guys probably have your levels already made. If not, then you can go ahead and do this and use those as reference images. But in the meantime, this is what's going to happen. So I'm going to create one, and it's going to be mountains. And then I'm going to create another one. It'll be lake. And another one down. Oh, I can't have spaces. Downtown. Now, when you name these, you got to name them so you know how they're spelled, or spelled correctly. So now I'm going to control shift s save all, get all those levels downloaded, or saved. Now I'm going to go to back to my UI, and I'm going to go to le uh, main menu first, actually. So, on the play button, we're going to go on click. We're going to get owning player. And we are going to create a widget. Level selector. And add it, <laughs> add it to the viewport. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to open up that, that uh, UI right now. Level selection. Okay, so now we're in level selection. What I like to do in every off-menu uh, um, UI, I like to create a variable, and I'm going to call it previous widget. Okay. Now here's why. So just to get this, let's see here, uh, widget. Widget, 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 component, reference, pile. So what this does is, so when we make like a back button in any of the UIs, 
uh, you can set this like this. I'll show you right now. So now I'm going to go to previous widget, set previous widget, and I'm going to get a reference to self. Ah, not working here. What is this? The construction object. Why are we not working here? <laughs> we'll figure this out. Uh, variable. Promote this to a variable, and we're just going to see what kind. Level selection variable type. Why isn't that working? Widget. User widget reference. Okay, that's probably what it is. We need a user with user widget reference. I'm sorry, guys. Um, just bear with me here. File, name menu. Take this. We'll delete. Get rid of this new variable. And I'm going to set that. There we go. Previous widget is a uh, user widget reference. Um, we're going to set that. Okay. And then we're going to remove from parent. And what this is going to do is once we click the play button, it's going to open our, our level selection menu, uh, add it to the viewport, set the previous widget, and remove the main menu. Okay, so now once we're in level selection, we want to go to the designer, and what we're going to do is going to make an image. Okay, now I'm going to make this full screen, and I'm going to blank it like this, and I do not want any gaps. So I want a full screen 100%. Okay, now what the image is. Is going to be a variable. Let's see here. Uh, can, we, can we do this here? Anchors, no. It's got to be a variable in here. And I cannot set that to bind, can I? Draw as image, color and opacity, image size, brush, bind, create binding, set. Ah, there we go. Okay, well. Image. Uh, let's make this a variable. Variable. We're going to say this level image. Okay. But we're going to unhook this. And we're going to turn this into an array. Okay. I'm just going to let that do its thing. And close find so it results here. Level image. Okay. And we're going to change the image. Now we got downtown islands lake. Okay. So now we're going to get a copy. And we're going to set this here. And we are going to make a variable. And I'm going to call this indexer. Okay. I don't know if you guys can pick up what I'm laying down already, but this is going to get pretty easy. I'm going to name this function set level uh, image. Compile. Okay. So now inside our level images, what you're going to want to do also is... Yeah, we're going to need another variable because I want to name the level name. So we're going to be level names. And this is going to be a string. Okay, compile. So, what did I say here? We have in our assets, now you need to name them the maps. Downtown, lake, mountains, exactly the way you spelt them there. Uh, this, the way you spelt them is going to show up in the end game. So make sure you name them something that you are comfortable with displaying to your users. Um, so what I'm going to go here, I'm going to add an, array, or an element, and I'm going to start with downtown. I'm going to add another one. Lake. And I'm going to add another one. And you're going to do this for every level that you want in your level selector. Okay? And I'm going to go... Meetings, <laughs> mountains. Uh, 
here we go. Control Shift S and save. Save. File save save. Okay. So now we're gonna do that same sequence downtown lake mountains with level images. So now we're gonna add downtown texture. And then we're gonna add the what did I have it as? Downtown Lake. And then add another one and it is gonna be mountains. Mountains downtown islands. Islands. Why did I do this compile? Okay. So I guess this has to be islands. <laughs> Two islands. What am I doing here? Um, now I gotta go back here. I apologize, guys. I apologize. Uh, and I gotta name this one Islands. Compile. Save. Okay. File. Save. We can close our main menu. Um, now we're gonna go back to the designer. And what we are going to do right now is I'm just gonna set this one to downtown. Okay. Now, what else, or what you want to do, is I'm going to create a button. Um, and I'm going to put this here, and this here. Okay. Now, these buttons are going to increment, or switch between levels as you go. So I'm going to go to middle here for this one. This, this, this. I'm going to set size. 250 by 250. That's pretty damn huge, so 100 by 100 maybe. That's more like it. And position Y, minus 50 for halfway. And X is plus 50 for just a little bit. Now we're going to go here. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to reset all these. And I did 100 and 100. And this is going to be zero. Nope. Uh, minus 150. And this is going to be minus 50. I'm going to compile. I'm going to get some text. Text. Add text there. Add text here. This I'm going to use. This is going to be the quick, easy left arrow. And. This is going to be right arrow. Okay. File. Now, I'm going to get this text because it is pretty small. I'm going to make it a little bigger here. i make it to the top. That looks like I'm going to have to deal with. Let's see for a good size. 50. Why not? Okay. We're going to fill the button. And I want it centered. And this one, I want to fill this way. This way, actually, I want that centered too. And I want this to be 50. Okay. Now, let's make these buttons actually half ass look nice. I'm going to make them a little bit darker. Okay, no, wrong button. Uh, style, there we go. I'm going to draw these as an image. Uh, draw, image color black let's make it a little transparent okay now the sweet thing is you can go up here right click copy click on your next button make sure it's the button right click on style paste now we got our arrows in that nifty okay so now I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna add two more buttons and this one's going to go down here, and this one's going to go down here. And I'm going to add text to this one. Text here, and text here. Now, this, we gotta, we should name these accordingly. So, button, click this button, F2, decrease, no, 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 no. Prev level, for previous level. F2 and XT level for next level. This button is going to be play. 
and this button is going to be back. Uh, capitals back. All right. So now this button here, I'm going to make this in the bottom right corner. Level, level, level. Okay, and I'm going to make this. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, let's go 100 this way. And a hundred up, because I think is zero. Yeah, there we go. A hundred. I'm gonna make this one uh, 250. And a hundred. Oops, a hundred. Nah, no, 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 50. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna make this one. Oops, back button, or the play button. I'm gonna anchor this one to the bottom right corner. I'm gonna reset. Now I'm going to go, which direction are we going here? I'm going left, okay, so now what did I set this one as? Uh, minus 100. Uh-oh, I lost my button. Wait. Minus 100. Minus 100. We're going to say 250. And 100. Whoops, no, 50. Let's make them look nice. Now this is going to be minus 300, oops, wrong one, minus 300, minus 100. Sorry guys, getting a little carried away here. So I think I put 100 here, so this is going to be minus 400. Yeah, that looks about right. Now on my style, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. I still have it selected for the last button. Right click, paste. Now my text. I'm going to say back. And I'm going to go play. Okay. And you know what? I don't. That's still pretty, uh, pretty uh, dark. So I'm going to make these a little more obvious. And bring her down to about here. Okay, now I'm going to copy this and paste this. File save. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like and it actually looks not too terrible. Um, what else I'm going to do is why not let's add text here. Or no, let's do it up in the top right. Okay, uh, let's go top, or top left, sorry. Let's go here, do, 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 and I am going to increase the size to about a thousand, and a hundred, and I'm going to increase the size to about a hundred, that's too big, so I'm going to go half that, so 50, okay, pile, and I am going to bind text, create binding, and we're going to get level names, it and then we're going to get a reference and we're going to get our indexer Oops. put that there and we're going to go here okay well come on well save okay so now every time we cycle through the level it's going to say the level name and it's going to change the image now let's click on play so when we have play we're going to go on clicked play button, level name, indexer, and we're going to get a copy, or no, a reference, sorry, get a reference here, and we're going to go open level, okay? Boom. That is that simple. But, because of our main menu, our level blueprint, our UI is going to be locked, our mouse is going to be locked, so now we also need to add this. We're going to get our owning player, we're going to give them their control back. So we're going to set game mode only. Set input game mode only. Okay? And then we're going to hide the cursor, so we're going to go mouse cursor, 
set show mouse cursor to false. And then we're going to remove this from, uh, from the viewport. Remove from parent. Okay. Compile, save. Now we're going to go back to the designer. We're going to go to the back button. Scroll down, on clicked. We're going to do this. We're going to take our previous widget. Hit, oh, I made a copy of it for some reason. Uh, previous widget. Add to viewport. And one thing we need to do is we need to take this and we need to make this uh, editable. Okay. Um, now we're going to go here and remove from parent. And another mistake I realized I made too was in the main menu I had it select this to previous widget. You need a reference to sell. So we're going to cast to the level selection uh, menu that we just made, add it to viewport, and then we're going to take, we're going to set its previous widget variable that we made in level selection to a reference of self, which is the main menu. Alright? And then we're going to add this. Okay? Um, so now we're on level selection. Now if we click, click play, uh, one or more blueprints unresolved in play menu. No. Main menu, compile, save. Why is that not working? Previous. Set previous widget to this. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. Compile, save. There, now it's not working. Okay, so now if we click play, Look at that. That actually looks really good. I like that. But these don't do nothing now. See this? See this? That glitch, I'm telling you. Now if we hit play, it's going to open up the level, but we died because there's nothing in the level. Um, so play, and then if you go back, okay, so play back. That works. No errors. We're good. I'm going to make this look beautiful. Okay, so anyway, back to level selection. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to close set level image. Alright, so now on the, on this one, we're going to do the next uh, next level. We're going to, like, on click, when we, when we click this, it's going to select the next level. So we want, on clicks, we're going to take indexer, we're going to get it, and then we're going to set it. So we're going to get this, and we're going to go plus, integer, so it's going to be indexer, plus one. And then we're going to clamp, and we're going to get level names, and we're going to do last, and make that the max. So it'll never go more than what you have as registered levels in your level selector. Okay. So we're just gonna set that all up there. Compile, save. Now we're gonna go to the previous and on click. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it down here. Hook that up. And now we're going to delete that and we're going to subtract one instead of add one. We want to go down instead of up. Oops. Subtract one instead of that. Now, that, like I said, that clamp, it'll never go less than zero, which is the first digit in, in any array. And then the last level you have registered in the max. Okay? File, save, play. So now if we go to play, it says our level name. Click next. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Uh, you know what, guys? Let me know in the comments below if you think it would work better if we have a loop. So you can just keep next, 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 or back, 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 and it'll keep cycling over and over and over and over again. Uh, let me know, because I think this actually 
turned out really nice. Okay, for a level a level selector like that turned out really really nice. We got a back button, we got a play button. Cycles through levels. Um, just to show you. Actually, you know what? Love this. Subscribe. Like it. Dislike it. Who cares? Got any questions? Let me know. Facebook.com forward slash Southeast Studios dot CA and comment below. Throw a thumbs up. Hit the sub. I need a thousand subs, guys. Thousand subs. Please support me out here or help help support me. Throw me a subscription. Click me. The, click that little bell thing. Do what you gotta do. Thanks. Take her easy.